Hello YouTube, this is ST with Silver Stacking 101. Today is Laid Back Wednesday, where we talk about matters other than silver, but mostly about money. Last Wednesday, I did a video, My Biggest Investment Mistake. And I started that video with good judgment comes from experience. Experience comes from the result of bad judgments, which comes from no experience. The point of these two videos is everybody makes mistakes. One thing I've noticed being a tax accountant for many years is people feel really, really bad when they lose money and they take it personally and they basically feel inferior. It happens to everybody. Raise your hand if you have not done something stupid with money. And then use your hand to slap your lying face because you're lying to yourself. Everybody has. The important thing is to learn from it. And that's what this video is, is taking the lesson I learned last time where there was a flaw in the distribution system that did not show in the financials and applying it to a stock I was trading. And yes, I trade stock. I will never say a stock I am currently trading. I don't want to be accused of being a pump and dumper, but I will use stocks I no longer trade from time to time for illustration purposes. Now, with Shell Seafood, I missed the distribution problem that would not have shown in the financial statements. Several years ago, I became aware of a chain of stores called Fred's Stores. They operate in the southeast. Basically, they are about three times the size of a Dollar General. So if you want a better selection of Chinese crap than what Dollar General has, and you don't want to go to Walmart to buy their Chinese crap, but you need Chinese crap, you go to Fred's to buy your Chinese crap. They operate in rural towns in the south. Operating expenses are very low in these towns. And they operate not typically not head on head with Walmart. They've had some growth issues or whatever. One thing I did not like about Fred's, I never bought it for a growth stock, was their inventory distribution system really sucked. There was way too many holes in the shelves where products should have been. If you're lucky enough to get somebody in your store with money willing, willing to spend, you need to have the product there for them to spend it on. And it was a distribution and inventory control problem system wide. I went to numerous stores but they had a great business model, very low debt. They operate with very little competition because people didn't want to drive 15, 20 miles to a Walmart when they could go get their Chinese crap down at Fred's. And with Chinese crap, what do you really care where it comes from? It's Chinese crap. So they were kind of head on head. They are kind of head on head with Dollar General, but they have a much larger store, which means they carry a few more items than Dollar General carries. So their distribution problem would hinder growth, but it didn't hinder overall results, mainly because they had low debt and operating without competition. So I started buying and selling Fred's. I don't overly do rolling stocks, but this one was beautiful. I went in and out of this stock so many times I can't tell you how many round trips I made on it. Always great. It hit its peaks and valleys. It was a good solid stop for this. So a few weeks ago, I'm driving home and I'm not, I wasn't in Fred's uh, at the time. I didn't own any stock in Fred's. I sold out several months ago, had not rebought, but hey, I was always willing to do it. And the business report came on the radio. Walmart, oh, correction, Walgreens is trying to merge with Rite Aid. 
the Federal Trade Commission says that will give you too many stores and give you too big of a market share. So Walgreens is trying to divest stores in order for to gain FT, FTC approval to acquire Rite Aid. They reached an agreement with Fred Stores to take a thousand stores. Now Fred's was operating just under 700. So now leverage works against you as much as it works for you. You hear in investment circles, leverage, leverage, leverage. Yes, but if there are flaws, they're lever leveraged as well. So now we have a thousand stores, many of which are head on head with Walmart. We got a crappy inventory distribution system. The chain was about at management capability. There's no indication that there will be corrective action. So guess what? Fred's is off the list. And that was my favorite rolling stop. Why? Because I learned from shells, a detail like that can sink a company. Now, I personally hope Fred's goes to 70 bucks a share and splits 10 times. That would be wonderful. I wish him no ill will. I would love to be wrong on this, but this is where I'm applying a lesson that I learned the hard way not to repeat it this time. And that's another lesson investors need to take is sometimes you get so in love with an investment that you lose objectivity. This thing has been a winner for me every time, every round trip. I learned that lesson the hard way too. Keep your objectivity. Um, next video I'm going to do is going to be kind of connected with friends. Someone has mentioned Jim Cramer in the con comments. If you have watched Jim Cramer's Mad Money, the lightning round, he says he doesn't know what the stocks, what stocks are going to be asked, and the staff prepares the graphics on the fly. Quote. I called in to Jim Cramer in the lightning round about this. Now, I can't say they told him what the stock was going to be, but I'm going to re relay the story, and you'll have to uh, make up your own mind. I'm going to tell you from my experience what happened to me when I called in the lightning round about this one stop. So the point is, in all this, when you make a mistake, don't feel bad, analyze, figure out where you did what you did wrong, and on the next time, take corrective action. This should be kind of motivational. If you have, have not subscribed, subscribe. I now have an email address, st silverstacker at gmail.com. I will also put it in the comments down below. God bless you. We'll see you on Saturday.